Rise of the Hutt Cartel is the first digital expansion for Star Wars The Old Republic, and it's like a huge summer blockbuster. The choices that players are gonna make are going to affect the larger conflict of Maqueb, but also the whole epic story of the galaxy. I believe that we've achieved a level of immersion through both story and gameplay that makes Rise of the Hutt Cartel one of the most unique and exciting experiences we've ever had. In one of our earlier releases, players defeated Karaga, who is the supreme mogul of the Hutt Cartel. And when they did that, they created a power vacuum and an evil, greedy, aggressive despot named Taboro has stepped into that void and he is leading the Hutt Cartel to take over the entire galaxy and they are starting with the planet Maqueb. Yeah, on Maqueb players are going to run into the most ruthless enemies that we've ever thrown at them. These are the Interstellar Regulators. This is a mercenary group hired by the Hutt Cartel to subjugate Maqueb's population. These guys use top-notch military technology all new droids, and even McKeb's own beasts in order to stop the player from taking on the Hut Cartel. Players are going to have to use every skill and power in their arsenal to fight back against this menace. McKeb is designed to be an experience that will entertain and challenge both solo and group players alike with tons of interesting battles and plenty of shareable missions. We also have a new villain who will appear named the Shroud, and that's the code name of the galaxy's greatest secret agent. And although at first he's working with the Hutt Cartel, it quickly becomes clear that he has his own plans for the galaxy, and players are definitely going to have to work hard to stop him. They're going to need every trick in their arsenal, including some new technology. That new technology comes in the form of macro binoculars, which you may remember from the classic Star Wars films. Uh, these are going to allow players to explore the galaxy and scavenge for various sites that the Shroud and his lieutenants have set up uh, in an effort in order to stop them before they can put their plans into action. All of this exciting story and gameplay is just too much for our existing level cap, so we're raising it to 55 with Resident Evil Cartel. Basically, this is going to allow us to give you more ability expanded skill trees, and all new character balances for every single class. Uh, along with Rise of the Hutt Cartel, we're also dropping our Game Update 2.0 Scum and Villainy. This is going to include all new level 55 content uh, in the form of new operation and some hard mode flashpoints. Players are going to see that the War for the Old Republic is far from over and that their characters are going to be on the front lines of that conflict all the way. Yeah, the end result is that you're going to be driving your own epic story forward as the hero of the Empire or the Republic.